But I'm going to do a net discover, and I'm going to do a attack I, and I can do ETH zero, not ETH O, the ETH zero. I can do attack R, that's going to do my range 10.0.2.0 forward slash 24. Now you probably see I did an attack P right there. If I want to do an active scan, which means I'm it's noisy, I would just leave it as it is, right? But if I want to do a passive scan, if I want it to be a little bit quieter on my network, I could do that attack P. I could do that attack P, but not the uppercase. It actually needs to be the lowercase. If I do an uppercase, then it's going to print the file. Lowercase is going to be passive mode. Now, we know it's in passive mode because we see that little passive right there. But you can see here, it's still listening. It's still trying to find more machines out there. We know there's no more because it's one of our virtual environment. I'm going to hit that control C. Passive mode is great if I'm IT. Maybe I'm on a live network. I don't want a lot of extra noise on the network. Not so great if you're in cybersecurity and you're trying to do a CTF or you're pen testing, right, if you're trying to do it in a virtual environment. So just realize the passive is out there. 